When it comes to Valentine's Day, Joe and I have never fallen for the okie doke. We've never really gone out to eat. I think we went out to eat a couple of times in the 36 years and we did not enjoy it because there are too many people eating out on that day that they can't give you great service. So we don't fall for the jewelry stuff, the flowers, the chocolates. I think when the kids were little, we would get the candies for them and candies for them to give to their friends at school and the little cards for them to give out and stuff like that. But every day for us is Valentine's Day because we really try to treat each other well each day, right? This Valentine's Day, however, 2023 was a little bit different. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Because we had to go to LA to pick up some Belizean groceries. And so a friend of mine, a friend that I met through doing YouTube, invited me to come and meet her for the first time and she took us out to lunch. It was an amazing time, guys. So first of all, the friend's name is Sarita and she lives in downtown LA. So we zoomed by and picked her up after we left the grocery store. Sarita is visually impaired. So she took us to this little restaurant where her husband had been buying food for her for the past couple of months. So I think the restaurant just opened December 2022. So anyways, we were walking down the street, we parked. We didn't realize that they had parking in the back of the restaurant, okay? Because it's on Main Street, downtown LA. So we parked on a little small street and we're walking down the street and we're passing the building and I'm like, what's the thing called, Sarita? And she goes, it's a black building and it's called ABS, A-B-S. A as in Apple, B as in boy, S as in Sam. So I'm not seeing that at all. And I said, there's a thing, a sign up here saying culture, but the culture was spelled kind of different, like with the K backwards. And I think the L was backwards too. And it's spelled with a K, not with a C. And so she says, I think this might be it because it's a black building because she's never been inside the building, right? So Joe went in because Sarita's husband kept telling her the restaurant's in the back. So Joe went into the building and said, is Ab's restaurant in here? And they said, yes. So me and Sarita entered. And when you enter, it's like, uh, they have a little uh, booth there, kind of like if you bought tickets to go to an event and you would hand your ticket in there and they have the, the things for the line, the post to, to make a line, but that's off to the side. So it's a, a little entry area. And then we get into this big dance hall looking area. So Sarita kept saying, it's in the back. I remember now Sarita is visually impaired. So, you know, we're, I'm leading Sarita. We're going to the back. We go past the bathroom. We're <laughs> heading out the back door before we turn around and go, where is this restaurant, right? So when we turn back, the young lady said, it's here. It's right here. This is the whole restaurant. So it's called like Culture by Abs. So it's a lounge and I want to say like a nightclub. I think that's what they said. And... A restaurant so I think you know people will have events there you know what I mean so first of all we sat down at the first booth that was nearby and comfortable and I told the young lady that Sarita is my friend that I just met her that she's been buying food here you know for the past few months and Sarita asked her if she could go get her mom or whoever the owner was because Sarita says, I'm her number one fan and I'm here to meet her finally so the lady came out she was so gracious and she met Sarita and then I introduced myself and I'm like, you know, I do this cooking show on YouTube. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. I don't ever assume that people have heard about my show, even though they're Belizeans. So I always ask and they said they'd never heard about it before and um, welcome anyways. And the young lady, the daughter said, do you want to sit over there with the pretty light? Because I said, I, I want to talk about the place, especially if the food is good. If the food is not good, I ain't saying a word, okay, because I'm not going to bash Belizeans. So anyways... We went over to the other booth and sat where the light was. Joe got up and started to talk to a young man that was there. He was related to them somehow. And I can't play any of what Joe was talking to the guy about because music was playing in the background and I don't want to get copywritten, but this is just Joe right here talking to the guy. And the guy did not know anything about, you know, my show on YouTube. And he is on YouTube, but he didn't know anything about the show. And I want to show you their bar. I want to do this in my dining room. I want to have Joe build shelves like this, put a big mirror and just buy all this expensive looking liquor <laughs> and put it up. I like the way liquor is um, um, packaged, packaged. I was going to say marketed. Yeah, I, I don't drink, so it would just stay there full, but some of them liquor expensive, child. Anyways, I love the way the place looked. They had a section there for, with a drum set. That's where a band would sit up and play later on that night for Valentine's. The place was empty at the time that we got there because we got there like um, early afternoon. Like, I think I want to say like 12, 30, quarter to one. So things were going to start to heat up later. So that was our luck, you know, that nobody was really in there at that time. Because my God today, uh, Miss Abs, that's not her real name, and her daughter treated us like royalty. 
and I don't believe it had anything to do with my show because they don't know anything about my show. I think it's one, because Sarita is a good customer and two, because that's how they are. They're just going to treat their customers great, you know? So I had a wonderful experience. I'm going to say I felt royal that day. Me, Joe, and Sarita, right? So Sarita started off with the appetizers, panadas and garnaches. The panadas was pretty good, but I only ate one because I really wanted to eat the garnaches because garnaches is my favorite. So now if you watch my show for any great length of time, you know that when I make garnaches, we do the corn tortilla that's fried. We spread the refried beans that's made from scratch. And then I make a tomato sauce with onion saute that I put on top. And then I put the Dutch cheese or Parmesan if I run out of Dutch cheese, right? Most, I've told you guys that a lot of Belizeans, I found out since I started to do this show, that a lot of Belizeans say, this is not how we're used to garnaches. You know, my parents did it this way. The corn, the beans, some onion sauce that's cut up and soaked in some vinegar and water, kind of like the way we do it for the panadas. Put that on top and then sprinkle the Dutch cheese. I'll eat it that way. Honestly, I'll eat it that way. It's not my favorite way. I'll, I'll eat it that way. But we're used to the tomato sauce, you know, in... I, was, I wanted to say it's my family thing, but a lot of people do it like that. So this is the way the garnaches was made. I don't know if it's, this is the way they normally make it, but this is the way it was presented to us. The corn, the beans, the onion. I asked for the onion off to the side. Well, they asked if we wanted the onion off to the side because some people don't like the onion, right? I love onion. I just can't eat it because it really messes with my intestines. So I said, yeah, off to the side. And then they put the Dutch cheese. My God, let me tell you. The, the, the corn was fried to perfection. There was no like soft parts in the middle like when Barbara fries it. I suck at frying things. I have no patience with frying. Joe does all the frying in here. So it was done right. The beans was well done and seasoned to perfection, nice and thick and a lot of beans on the corn. And then they put a ton of cheese. Oh my God. I would say it was half a cup of cheese on each garnacha. So I'm like, oh my God. So anyways, I asked the young daughter, I'm like, what kind of cheese is this? Because it was very moist right? And she goes, it's Dutch cheese. And I said, really? I thought for a minute it could be like grated Parmesan, you know, fresh grated Parmesan. I said, because it's so moist, Dutch cheese is always so dry. She goes, no, this one that we have right now is just really, really moist. It's really good. I'm like, oh my God, you gave us a lot of things. I wanted to say, Shh, you know, we'll make no profit on this. Shh. <laughs> I really enjoyed the, the um, not beans, the cheese, the cheese on it. So it was really good. Even though I didn't have the sauce the way I like to make mine, it was really good. And I would go back there again and buy that. If I'm visiting LA and I want to eat lunch or something, I'd pop in there and get garnaches in a flash because it was really good. So then um, what else did we have? So th that was the appetizer. We got the, the Jamaican style soda. Joe got the ginger beer. Me and Sarita got pineapple soda. I haven't drank soda in a while, but it was really refreshing. I'm really got, glad I got the soda and didn't get water. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And then I'm done. I don't have to go back to soda, right? So Sarita bought four dinner dishes. One for Joshua. I'm like, Sarita, stop spoiling that boy. He groaned. And she goes, no, that's my boy. I promised him I was going to send him a plate. So he wanted stew beef, rice and beans, and I think coleslaw. That's what he got. So we brought that home for Josh. So I could just like film to show you what the plate looked like. The the um, the to-go plate looks really good. Joshua liked the to-go plate. Joshua's into packaging just like I am. And then um, Sarita got garlic shrimp and stew beans and white rice, I believe, for her. She sent me a picture, so if I have it, I'll insert it here. She took hers home because she ate her panadas. She ate three panadas and a garnaches. I only ate one panadas and a garnaches, and I ate a little bit of my rice and beans. You guys know I only eat a third cup of rice and beans, so I ate way less because I already had all the carb from the garnaches and the panadas. And then I had stewed chicken with mine. I wanted to get a different meat for mine, but honestly, it was my first time there and I wanted to be able to come back and tell you guys about the staple food. You know, one, two, three, we call it. Rice and beans, uh, stewed chicken and potato salad. So it was all pretty good. It was a lot of gravy from the chicken. The chicken was cooked well. It wasn't overdone. It wasn't, well, Belize people don't underdo their chicken, but sometimes they tend to fry it a tad too long to brown it, then it gets kind of tough. No, it was good. It was soft. It was good. The rice was cooked all the way through. It was seasoned nicely, had coconut milk. It was pretty good, all right? So then, what was the other dish? Joe, Mr. Joe, he had to get a whole fried fish, a snapper, that was seasoned well and cooked to perfection too. He got it with shubins and white rice and coleslaw. You know, I'm glad I got potato salad because I like potato salad better. So um, yeah, those are the four meals, the sodas, the appetizers. I don't know what the meals cost because Sarita was the one doing the paying and they didn't have a menu yet because you know, they just opened. So uh, I can't tell you pricing, but you can call them and ask them the pricing, right? 
they have a chalkboard where they had everything when we first walked in the young lady said for the meats we have stewed chicken stewed beef oxtails fish you know fried fish um curry shrimp garlic shrimp and fried shrimp she oh turkey i think she said turkey wings for a special for the special so i wanted to get the turkey wings that's the one that i wanted to switch out the chicken for but i think i would have been upset if i didn't get the chicken because then i wouldn't be able to tell you you know if the chicken was good or bad you know what i mean so i'm 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 i'm, I'm okay with what i got in the future we'll go back and get something different right so um then she said for the side dishes she had rice and beans white rice and stew beans and um potato salad coleslaw and i think fried jack she said they serve fried jack all day from morning till night and miss abs i know her real name but i'm gonna keep calling her miss abs she told us her time listen carefully because there's music playing in the background i don't think youtube algorithm will catch the music but listen to what she says right here for the the time that she's open okay so we're here with abs kitchen all right so she has a different name but it's abs kitchen we came here for the first time my friend sarita brought me and we enjoyed everything i'm gonna tell you guys more Thank you for coming. Where, where, I mean, where, where to find you guys? Where to find yeah, you? Yeah, well, we are located inside the Culture Lounge, Abs Kitchen, 3311 South Main. Downtown LA, right? Downtown LA, yeah. Uh huh. And um, the hours? Hours of oh, operation? Oh, um, Mondays is from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. On Tuesdays, 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. Wednesdays were closed. <laughs> Thursdays are until 9 and on Fridays we're open until 2 a.m. as we have Afro Beach here as well and on Saturdays if we have an event we're open until 2 a.m. On Sundays it's only from 10 until 6 depending on the crowd if Still I know. Yeah. <laughs> we're, try, we're trying to give everybody a little something for Bob's Kitchen here. Yeah, yeah. So this is our little Valentine's Day out. Oh, Thanks to Sarita over there. <laughs> So you see the hours of operation, they're long hours during the day. I'm going to pray for these people because child restaurant is hard work. And this is not just a restaurant. This is a lounge and, you know, a nightclub and events happen here and they're there for hours. And oh my God, I'm cooking all that food. Oh, Lord have mercy. So now keep in mind that I really haven't tasted any other Belizean restaurants food years ago a youtube um, subscriber invited me she's a friend now she invited me to come to her birthday party at another restaurant and that restaurant has since changed ownership so i don't even want to name the place right now because then it wouldn't be the same food you know what i mean when i went to that restaurant with the prior owners the, f the food was pretty good so i haven't tried any other belizean restaurant food why because we cook belizean food all day long here so i don't have any other restaurants to match it up to oh by the way they don't have any desserts yet okay i think that's coming soon um i can only match it up to our cooking to me joe my mom my auntie everybody who taught me and i'm gonna tell you the food was pretty good all right it's good enough that i would go back and try it again if I went back to LA by myself, you know, I thank Sarita for this treat. It was a wonderful Valentine's Day treat. And I'm so glad that, you know, because Sarita kept telling me, Barbara, the food's pretty good. It's pretty good. I want you to taste the food. And she did not lie. The food is pretty good. And I loved, absolutely loved the mother and daughter team. Um, they took great care of us. They treated us like royalty. And I feel like this is the way they are with everybody. I don't feel like it's just because it's us. Okay, I think they really have a knack for, you know, welcoming their customers and making everybody f have a great experience with the food. And they gave a lot of food. It was a lot of rice and beans. It was a lot of white rice, a lot of beans. They really did give a lot of food. And the fish, like I said, was a whole fish when it was the beef. It was a lot of beef. Um, the chicken, I, I think I got two big fat legs. I couldn't even eat the whole thing. I ate one of the leg and brought the rest home. And then Sarita got a lot of shrimp on hers. You know, so, um, and if you see, those meats are all expensive meats. The beef, the fish, the shrimp, those are expensive meats, right? The chicken is like the cheapest meat of all for right now, till the prices change on that, right? Yeah, so it was a wonderful experience. I like this place. Keep in mind that it is downtown LA, but there, it, there is parking in the back. And I think the young man told you, like, if there's an event, there's valet parking across the street. And so don't just go and try to park on the street and get upset and go, I can't find no parking go towards the back of the black building, okay? I didn't see the parking, but the young man told Joe that there's parking. So yeah, Culture by Abs, fairly new restaurant, 
very friendly proprietors. I love the presentation of the food. The young daughter says, I did that. <laughs> and I told her, mommy needs to keep you. <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was amazing. Thank you so much, Sarita. Thank you to the owner of ABS and the daughter, Arla. Where, where, where did you go to school? Actually, I went to Fort Redeemer. Redeemer. So that's, I, and, um, that's right in the middle of the city, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to All Saints because we broke back in the spark, okay. and then I went to Cat Trace. Oh, I, good, I good, left out of um, third form in time. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then come to. I actually went to St. Cat Trace myself. Too. You did? Did you finish? The Sakarita was there. Yeah. Did you finish? The like Sakarita. You went to Red Tie? Yeah. I always ask because they pulled me the out the green, the yellow, actually. the blue, and the red, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went to the same high school, Sarita. Really? We went to Cat Trace. Oh. So we tell you went to Hilda's? Mm, went my to mom Hilda's. went to Hilda's. Oh, yeah. so your mom went to Hilda's? Yeah, my mom graduated from there. I graduated from there in 1980. See? Hilda's was which one again? What what are you located, Sarita? Um, going down to our Burzile. You know Burzile was on Albert Street? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hilda's not on Albert Street then? Hilda's on Albert? It's turning. Yeah, I'll go all the way down to Burzile. You know where Burzile was? Yeah, I remember Burzile. Yeah, uh -huh. right down the street from Burzile. ACC? So I'm gonna put the stuff down below the information about this restaurant I don't have their phone number, but I'm gonna get that from Sarita But the address is like 3311 Main Street. It's like Maine and Jefferson um, When you go over there if you call and order food and you are you're ordering because I told you Just tell them that Barbara from the Bear Pantry Show sent you if you go in there drop my name so they can know it's me okay i told them that i was going to give them a great review because i really enjoyed the experience and it was a wonderful valentine's day for us so if you like this video go ahead and watch this one that i have lined up for you all right bye bye this is the Beth Show.